All right, John Oaks here with Hexter's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, uh, Pennsylvania location. And today, here in our showroom, we're going to go over this 1986 Pontiac Grand Prix 2 Plus 2. Uh, with the rise in popularity of the Monte Carlo SS's, the, the mid to late 80s, um, and the old Cutlasses, this car kind of fits right in there with them. Unique look, they only made so many of these cars. Uh, and this one is in outstanding condition. So as we walk around this, just know that this whole car, all original, numbers matching driveline, original metal, original paint, original interior, everything. So again, this car has been very well taken care of through the years. As you can see, our Grand Prix 2 Plus 2 here is done in the silver exterior. It's got the uh, it's the darker gray uh, bottom color there and of course you've got the 2 plus 2 striping and decal package on the car as well. Um, now with the, these cars here you did not have the big chrome bumpers. Um, you had the color match bumpers. Sometimes you had the, uh, the rubber like the molding, the trim around it there, which this one does. Again, this kind of has that aero styling to it with the whole front nose piece on it and again with the rear window and spoiler on the back. Again, kind of giving it that look, the same thing that the Monte Carlo SS Aero Coupes had. Um, so this would run right with those, right up there with the whole styling of the car. So as far as uh, the rest of the car, I mean, there's really not much too out of the ordinary, if anything at all. This car is 100% stock and OEM. You've got the factory uh, Rally 2 Pontiac wheels here. These are 15 inch with the beauty rings with the Arrowhead center caps in them. As I mentioned, we've got the 2 plus 2 decal package on it. You've got both mirrors, and these are color matched mirrors here. And again, these are in great shape. The paint all the way around on this car is in really good condition. All the glass, not only in the mirrors, but in your side windows, your small windows back here, and your rear quarters here, those are all in great shape. Gaps and elevations on the doors and body lines, all in alignment. So again, this car, fit and finish all the way around is in great shape. We'll look inside at the interior real quick. Again, this thing is all original. Cloth interior, no rips, no tears, no fading. Door panels, seat upholstery, dash, all of this is in great condition. Power windows, power door locks, heat, air conditioning, um, all the factory instrumentation with the wood grain trim on the dash as well as on the center console, which by the way is factory also. Tilt steering wheel with cruise control, all seat belts here. Everything is in great shape on this car. Even all of your, this, this is the original weather stripping too for this car, all the seals, everything. All nice and soft, no rips, no tears, no pieces chunked out of it. Uh, so everything is going to seal up very nice on this vehicle. Um, we'll close this up. Again, the door shuts very nice. I am going to grab the keys for it because we are going to look inside the trunk here in just a minute. So let me do that. Oh, and by the way, it is a remote mirror so you can adjust it from the inside. As far as the tires go on this car, they are BF Goodrich. These are the, uh, the Comp TAs. These are 215, 65, R15s all the way around on this vehicle so that's going to make uh, doing uh, tire rotations and so forth very easy. Uh, the tread on the tires is in great condition too. Now as we've come around the back side of our Pontiac Grand Prix 2 Plus 2, like I said, now you can really get the full feel of this rear window. Uh, nice curved glass here. As you can see, that glass is in great condition. All of your trim back here that finishes off the whole look of that window as it leads back into this rear spoiler, that is all in great shape. Of course, that rear trunk spoiler as well. It's got the third brake light in it. All of your tail light lenses, those are in great shape with the GP right in the center for Grand Prix. Of course, you see more of your decal work here, the Pontiac, than the Grand Prix here also. Again, you've got those urethane, urethane bumpers there with the decals there, little bumper guards down below also. We'll go ahead, like I said, and we'll open up the trunk. Now, not a very big trunk because, again, with that rear window like it is designed, you don't have much of a gap for inside here. But again, you can see the hinges 
all work as they should the spring holding that trunk up and it's actually for as small as it is it's got a little bit of weight there for since it does have that rear spoiler your trunk seals and weather stripping here all in great shape inside we've got some floor mats you've got a nice trunk mat the trunk floors are in great shape too you also have your uh, little plastic uh, see-through uh, uh, keeper up here or binder whatever you want to call it there that's got your jack instructions and so forth in it you even have the spare tire back there also for this car um, so as I said you know we showed you that the key actually works in the trunk lock the latch all works uh, um, so yeah everything is very very nice with this vehicle we'll go ahead and close this up and we'll walk our way around the passenger side of the vehicle so again, metal on this car all the way around, nice and straight. Uh, paint, smooth, shiny, all the way around. Um, our rain gutters, our drip rail moldings, those are all in good shape. They are all black and that's the way they should be. Um, your rain gutters themselves, nice and smooth the whole way back through. Again, you can see on the passenger side here, your gaps, elevations, and panel fitment for the doors with the quarters and the fenders again all of which are in great shape glass on this side same thing no chips no cracks whatsoever in really good shape as we open this door up again just to give you a look at the interior now from the passenger side again we'll just mention no rips no tears in any of the seat upholstery uh, no fading rips or tears in the carpeting the center console is in great shape the dash itself is in great condition no cracks in that either so again super super nice car all the way around and that door shuts nice and easy too so then we'll just kind of walk our way up you've got the fender mounted uh, antenna there for the radio and now we come around to the front end so again as i mentioned the grand prix with this kind of like this arrow looking front fascia here on the car the bumper and all it gives it that like i said the arrow look to complete with the uh the the sloped rear glass and the rear trunk spoiler uh, again you've got more badging up here for the pontiac 2 plus 2 you got your arrowhead decal right in the center of the car your glass lenses here on your sealed beam headlights both highs and lows up here no cracks or anything like that all of your grills these are kind of like your honeycomb shaped grills on the pontiac those are all in great shape nothing broke nothing missing all intact and looking very good on this car so that gets us to the next thing which is under the hood we're going to go ahead and pop our hood so the hood latch is in here as you can see that does work now we'll come up and raise the hood so that we can talk about the rest of the motor and the driving. So with the hood open, obviously the first thing is up top here, the underside of the hood. This would be your factory insulation. Again, original stuff. And as you can see, all intact. There's nothing hanging down. It's all tacked up the way that it should be from the factory. In here, in, as far as the engine compartment, this is the original numbers match Pontiac 305 engine. I'm told this has an aluminum intake on it, factory air cleaner, HEI ignition on this car. You've got exhaust manifolds, um, the factory air conditioning and heat uh, unit here on the car. All of your hoses and lines all hooked up. No leaks whatsoever that I can see even around like valve covers, um, anything around the uh, actual air conditioning nothing do I see any any leaks whatsoever all very nice clean and sound underneath the hood this car is power steering it is power brakes it does have disc brakes up front drums on the rear also has the parking or emergency brake all of which is functioning same thing with that air conditioning in the factory are all hooked up and all working we also have the factory style uh, radiator, radiator in there with the fan shroud and a seven blade clutch fan in there to keep everything nice and cool. Alright, so we've got our Pontiac uh, Grand Prix uh, 2 plus 2 here up on the lift. Uh, again, just kind of uh, you know getting the words jumbled up there because we've had so many of the Monte Carlo SS's in here now. This is again obviously a very similar car only Pontiac's version of the car. So we're going to go through the underside here as we always do. Um, 
Now, as you might look at this and kind of see when you compare it to some of our other cars, um, you know, you got the, you know, one of our other cars, all black undercarriages and so forth. This car is in such good condition as it originally was. We decided just to leave this thing exactly the way it was. So you're seeing this basically in the raw uh, for as good a condition as it is with the miles that's on it being all original metal. We want you to be able to see all of that right here. So starting up here at the front of the car, as far as the front suspension goes, again, everything on this is going to be all stock and factory components. So your upper and lower control arms, those are stock. Your ball joints in both the upper and lower uh, control arms on both sides, those are in good condition on this car. As far as all your steering components, it is power steering. So again, all of your tie rods up to the front sides of your suspension arms, those are all good, all very straight. Ball joints are all in great shape. Rubber dust boot covers all intact on this. Drag link, pitman arm, all of that, all in good condition. Your stock front cross member here, super straight on this vehicle. It never looks like it's ever touched anything on this front cross member. And as far as the rest of the suspension, your shocks, your springs, again, all of that, pretty much all stock and just a regular, normal set of gas shocks for on the front of the car. As far as brakes go, it is power brakes. It's got your disc brakes up front, your drum brakes out on the rear, along with the emergency brake or parking brake, all hooked up and functional. And as far as the disc brakes go up front, that's all factory stuff too, so you can get any of those components at any of your auto parts stores that you would need to whenever you do maintenance on the vehicle. All the way out at the ends there, as far as wheels and tires, same thing. It's got your factory Pontiac rally wheels on it with beauty rings and the center caps. Again, they're the rally two wheels uh, and the center caps have the arrowhead emblem all in them as correct as can be. Um, tires, BF Goodrich Radial TAs. These are 215-65 R15s on all four corners. So it's going to make uh, rotating tires a, a, a simple task for you. Don't have to worry about different tire sizes. You just switch them. Um, as far as the drive line on this car, all original numbers matching drive line. It's got the 305 Pontiac motor in it. Uh, oil pan the whole way around, all nice and dry, leak free, drip free. Same thing when we come back to the transmission. This is the 204R automatic transmission. Flywheel cover is intact, that's going to protect that flywheel. And again, that trans pan, all nice and dry, free of any leaks and drips. Even back here at the, uh, the seal uh, where your slip yoke slides into, that is dry. The cross member for the transmission you can see here, that's never been touched on anything and the tail shaft mount for the transmission, all in good shape. Drive shaft, obviously as with all of these vehicles, it's gonna be a balanced drive shaft. So that's gonna eliminate your, uh, any kind of vibrations you might have in the drive line. That's gonna take care of it. And then for the rear end, We've got the, uh, the 10 bolt rear, it's got the 373 gear in it, and it is a posi unit in that third member there. Now, as I failed to mention up front, but I'll do it right now, both front and rear suspension are all finished off with sway bar. So front sway bar, rear sway bar, again, your rear suspension, this is all just your typical metric four link back here. So your upper and lower control arms, just as they should be. Those are going to uh, locate, uh, laterally locate your rear end so you don't have to worry about any kind of like a pannered bar or anything like that. It's going to keep that rear end centered right where it needs to be. Frame and floors on this car, of course. Frame, okay, that's all nice and square, good and straight the whole way back on this car. And it is a full frame car. As far as the floors go, as I said before when we started off, you're seeing this in the raw. So again, all of the floors here, all original metal here on this car, never been touched. And you can see all the stamping lines all the way through all of the pans, no replacement parts here, all original stuff, and it's in great condition. Even back here to the trunk area, what we can see from underneath here, all very good condition. Metal here, no patching at all. Even your spare tire provision underneath here in great shape. Fuel tank, 
Again, in great condition for the age of the car. Straps, mounting hardware, all in really good condition on this thing. And uh, finally, uh, you've got the exhaust. Obviously, coming off the engine, you're going to have a, a dual pipe coming off of, you know, one pipe off of each manifold. But that all comes into one pipe, one single catalytic converter, and single exhaust the whole way back through the car with a transverse located muffler. Uh, and again, just a single outlet here for your tailpipe. So that is the way this car would have come. Again, you can see how well a condition this thing is. There's no cover-ups going on here. Again, in the raw, in excellent condition here. Couldn't ask for a car to age any better than this thing. Again, a 1986 Pontiac Grand Prix 2 plus 2.